Um, that brings us down to item four, which is presentations. We do have a presentation. Yes. Hi. Hi How are you? Well, thank you. Hi, Madam President, uh, fellow commissioners, Fire Chief Crowley, City Attorney, uh, LAFD administration and guests. I don't think we better have a, a safer fire commission with all of you here, so thank you for being a part of this. And as you've likely deducted, uh, this morning's presentation is unique in that we're not honoring one of our own members as usual, but we're actually honoring uh, police officers who are our fellow first responders, always there by our side as we go to emergencies, as well as a courageous videographer who's been a longtime friend of the LAFD because together all of them jumped into action uh, to save a 14-year-old girl who was behind the wheel of a car that had crashed and erupted into flames in Encino. And tragically, this incident left one passenger deceased. So we'd like to call up the following members to please come next to the podium. This will be Officer Yulan Castillo, Kevin Hernandez, Alexander Martinez, Shane Underwood, and videographer Howard Raishbrook. Now, this single vehicle crash took place uh, just after midnight. This was on February 20th of this year in Encino near Ventura Boulevards and Balboa. You could probably picture that busy area. And these officers had actually attempted to pull over the vehicle because it was driving without its lights on. Rather than yield and pull over, unfortunately, they sped away. Shortly thereafter, they uh, wrapped themselves around a light pole and had a very significant uh, collision. And we actually have some dramatic video footage of this incident where these officers and videographer, they worked together. Uh, they attempt to extinguish the flames. You'll see them actually grabbing fire extinguishers from their vehicles and trying to extinguish these intense flames and also to smash out the windows with uh, tools or weapons they had on hand to free somebody that was a rear, in the rear passenger. So we'll please take a moment to watch this about two minute video. A 14-year-old driver behind the wheel of a vehicle that killed a 16-year-old passenger. Another teenager pulled out of the burning Toyota Camry. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda caught up with a witness who ran to help when he came across the fiery crash in Encino. A horrific accident. The vehicle slamming into a pole and then bursting into flames. video shows police officers battling the flames and the heat and desperately trying to check who was in the car and to put out the fire. It happened just after midnight at the corner of Ventura and Balboa Boulevard. Police say it started when officers tried to pull over the car for not having its headlights on. But the car did not stop. They say it sped away. The surveillance video shows the car going south on Balboa Avenue. This was just seconds before the crash. As I'm running up, I'm 20, 30 feet. I can already feel the heat, so I'm running into to an inferno, essentially. And the wheels can explode, the airbags can go off. Police say a 14-year-old was behind the wheel. That driver and an 18-year-old passenger were pulled out with minor injuries. Police say one has a broken leg. But a third person, a passenger in the back seat, died. The family of that victim brought these flowers to the scene, but did not want to comment. Howard Racebrook is a photographer who captured the horrifying scene and tried to help. They were pulling two people out. I heard one of the victims say there's someone else in the car. So I ran back, grabbed my fire extinguisher, tried to help. I mean, I put the fire extinguisher through. It didn't seem to do too much. And luckily, the fire station was a block away. So they came put the fire out. Police say the car had been reported stolen. And the person who reported it is related to one of the people in the car. The crash is under investigation. And the LAPD says it can't confirm yet if the driver will face any charges. Reporting from Encino, I'm Carlos Granda, ABC7 Eyewitness News. A trial date. Uh, thank you, Captain Kingsland. We, we thought those, um, that video would be much better than me trying to verbally articulate what had transpired. So uh, just for clarification, there were three people inside of that vehicle, and two were rescued because of their hard work. And that was a 14-year-old driver that sustained uh, minor injuries, and then also an 18-year-old woman that was in the front passenger seat that had a broken leg. Uh, tragically, uh, still in the rear of that vehicle was a 16-year-old female that did pass away. Um, but as you also probably heard mentioned, there's inherent dangers to vehicle fires. And so th these people did not have the protective equipment that we firefighters have. So there was very intense heat. Things can explode during vehicle fires. So uh, more accolades to their heroic work. And I think we'd all agree 
that uh, simply put, if it were not for their efforts of, of these brave individuals that are standing here, uh, that the outcome would have been far worse. So we'd like to just read one certificate and then give them a rightful round of applause. It says, your bravery, quick thinking, and dedicated assistance in saving a young woman's life during a traffic accident that resulted in a rapidly growing auto fire on February 20th, 2024, in the Encino community of Los Angeles. The Los Angeles City Fire Department commends you for your heroic actions in saving a citizen of the city of Los Angeles. Presented on this first day of October 2024, Kristen M. Crowley, Fire Chief. And if I may, just, just take a moment uh, very quickly, just to take this moment in um, with our LAPD partners, our relationship, uh, our sense of pride and honor to stand with our LAPD uh, every single day. It, this is just an incredible opportunity to highlight what this relationship looks like. So. For the officers and our incredible videographer here who sees stuff every single day, this is just one, let me just be very clear, one of many, many things that our LAFD and LAPD do every single day when we put ourselves, you know, it in the most extreme circumstances. This is one that we were able to capture on video but I do want to highlight the entirety of what our mission is from being first responders from the city perspective. And I'm so honored that we can highlight these individuals here today. Uh, we'll continue to work very, very hard with our partners to make sure that we do provide that exceptional public safety to the communities that we serve. Um, and it's a very special reminder as we have LAPD here, like uh, Captain Scott was saying, that normally we'll pull our uh, fire department personnel or civilian personnel, but PD's doing this every single day. And I think it's really, really important that we take the time to highlight the efforts of our of our partners. So we're really proud of you. I'm sure uh, your chief's very proud of you, but I'm even more prouder of you today. Um, and just uh, thank you for doing what you did. And uh, we're gonna continue to push really hard. So thanks everybody and congratulations. One other thing, I see the families yeah. had the opportunity just to meet everybody very briefly. So if we could have the family stand up, please, we'd like to also show our appreciation for you. Thank you to the families. So, uh, and it is important, I mean, we have uh, some kids here, we have spouses, we have family members, and I tell you, I, as a family member, I, I know um, that we know that our people put themselves at risk every single day and they're willing to sacrifice a lot and I think that the families are just or more important for us to recognize in regard to your sacrifice so thank you for sharing uh, your loved ones with us uh, and again we're going to continue to push and strive to to keep everybody safe but thank you for going above and beyond so congratulations everybody. Real quick Real quick, uh, they have some other comments no, too. But they can they can come and do that. I think the other important thing about this is um, every day on the news, at some point in time, we hear things that are detrimental to the Los Angeles Police Department. People that are watching this commission meeting, and I think more and more people watch, um, this is a way for us to shine a light on really and truly what the Los Angeles De Police Department does and what it means to the safety of the city. They had no equipment. They've not had any training in putting a fire out. But because they're dedicated and because they understand that they're first responders and safety is their business, they took it upon themselves to do what they needed to do in partnership with um, 
LAFD. And so I think that's the other thing that needs to be highlighted. These individuals with no protective gear, no real training at putting out fires, did the very best that they could, and they saved lives. Mm -hmm.